In this podcast episode with David Brooks, the topic of emotional vulnerability and the importance of connecting with one's emotions is explored. Brooks shares a personal story about catching a bat at a baseball game and realizing the value of expressing joy and emotions rather than remaining stoic and detached. He reflects on his journey towards becoming more emotionally available and vulnerable, stray, acknowledging that his previous tendency to suppress emotions led to a cold and lonely way of living. Brooks delves into the reasons why people may struggle to feel and express their emotions. He mentions societal norms that discourage emotional expression, particularly for men, who are often taught to prioritize stoicism and rationality over vulnerability. Fear of vulnerability, desire for control, and a lack of emotional safety in expressing feelings are identified as common barriers to emotional openness. Brooks emphasizes the importance of developing emotional intelligence and being able to connect with and understand one's emotions. The conversation shifts to the misconception that reason and emotion are separate entities. Brooks highlights the work of neuroscientist Antonio Damasio, who studied individuals unable to process emotions due to brain lesions. These individuals struggled to make decisions because they lacked emotional valuation processes. Brooks argues that emotions play a crucial role in assigning value to experiences and guiding rational decision-making. He challenges the notion that being more rational equates to being less emotional, emphasizing the need for intelligent emotions to inform logical thinking. Brooks shares insights on how to cultivate deeper connections through meaningful conversations. He emphasizes the importance of active listening, asking good questions, and being fully present in conversations. He suggests starting conversations by inquiring about a person's childhood, as people often enjoy discussing their early experiences. As trust is established, deeper questions can be asked to prompt introspection and self-discovery. He encourages individuals to be curious about others and to ask questions that spark meaningful dialogue and connection. The conversation touches on cultural differences in emotional expression, citing examples such as the French having a word for feeling sorry for someone who displays too much emotion in public. Brooks reflects on his upbringing in a Jewish family that valued emotional reserve, contrasting with the warmth and expressiveness often associated with Jewish culture. He emphasizes the importance of exploring and understanding emotions across different cultures to broaden one's emotional intelligence. He mentions the lack of earnestness in British culture, where being playful or silly may be perceived as a lack of intellectual sophistication. He also reflects on his own tendency to prioritize efficiency and control, which can hinder the development of deep relationships. The fear of being judged or prying too much into someone's personal life can also prevent individuals from engaging in meaningful conversations. Brooks emphasizes the importance of being deeply seen by others and the impact it can have on one's well-being. He distinguishes between diminishers, who stereotype and make assumptions about others, and illuminators, who make individuals feel seen and valued. He shares anecdotes about individuals who have experienced profound connections through simple acts of presence and listening. He highlights the power of holding space for someone in moments of vulnerability. Brooks describes a pivotal moment in his life when he was invited to a couple's house where they were hosting several kids in need. This experience exposed him to a different culture where emotional availability and connection were the norm. Through osmosis, he found himself gradually becoming more emotionally available and open. He reflects on the transformative power of being in a community that values emotional connection and support. He also mentions his interactions with Oprah Winfrey, who noted his significant personal growth and emotional transformation over the years. As individuals age, Brooks suggests that a shift occurs from a focus on career success to a desire for generativity and service to others. He likens this transition to the onset of puberty, where a new intense desire emerges. This desire to give and be of service to the world can lead to a deeper sense of fulfillment and purpose. Brooks encourages individuals to embrace their emotions, even if it means shedding tears or expressing vulnerability. He emphasizes the importance of being present for others and creating meaningful connections through genuine interactions. 
Brooks acknowledges feeling discomfort and shame about being emotional, particularly when it comes to crying. He shares personal experiences of being moved to tears by movies and nostalgic memories. Despite feeling ashamed at times, he recognizes the value of embracing emotions and allowing oneself to be vulnerable. He discusses the societal pressure to suppress emotions and the impact of social media on personal security and openness. By acknowledging and accepting one's emotions, he suggests that individuals can cultivate deeper connections and a greater sense of authenticity in their relationships. Brooks discusses the concept of vulnerability and how it can impact relationships. He shares personal experiences of struggling to connect with a friend who was dealing with depression. He admits to making mistakes in trying to help his friend, such as offering solutions or trying to minimize the severity of the situation. He emphasizes the importance of acknowledging the reality of someone's struggles, offering support without judgment, and showing genuine care and concern. He believes that vulnerability is not a sign of weakness, but a way to show authenticity and build trust with others. Brooks provides practical advice on how to improve communication skills and engage in more meaningful conversations. He suggests using storytelling as a way to connect with others and create a shared understanding by asking open-ended questions that prompt people to share personal stories and experiences, individuals can deepen their relationships and foster a sense of connection. Brooks discusses the importance of bringing positive energy into social interactions. He mentions the power of attention and how it can influence the dynamics of a conversation. By approaching interactions with a spirit of generosity and genuine interest, individuals can create a positive, and welcoming atmosphere. Brooks shares examples of how a simple gesture or kind words can transform a conversation and make others feel appreciated and valued. He encourages people to be mindful of their energy and the impact they have on those around them. Brooks offers tips on how to end conversations effectively and leave a positive impression. He suggests expressing gratitude for the interaction, highlighting specific aspects of the conversation that were enjoyable or insightful and conveying a sense of appreciation for the other person. By ending conversations on a positive note, individuals can leave a lasting impression and strengthen their connections with others.